Good morning and once again welcome to another moment in the word a ministry brought to you by Faith Bible Church. We've been looking at the 23rd Psalm. This is the final in our study in the 23rd Psalm. It's been a, such a great joy and comfort as we have meditated on this passage together. We see in the beginning that I will not want. We see in the middle I will fear no evil. We see now, today, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The reason why we do not want is because he goes before us. The reason why I will fear no evil is because he is with us. And the reason why I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever is that he went ahead of us. So as we look at this, now what we have is we see that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. That is, looking back on my past and realizing God uses everything and works it to good, that he has forgiven me, and that as a result, I now will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. But what does that mean? Well, it means several things. First of all, the word dwell is such an interesting word. It means more than just a, an abiding place, although it does mean that. But the root word, Lashem, it means to actually be restored. It's the same word that's used in verse 3. He restores my soul. In other words, I'm going to be restored permanently. No relapse. There's never going to be a time when I'm going to, to need to be healed again. There is that place where in him I will find complete restoration. In him I will be in the house of the Lord and forever. Now, remember, this is me as a sheep. I am the Lord's sheep. I have identified him as my shepherd. I have been in the valley there in Jericho. I have passed through the the canyon, that very narrow place of about four and a half miles through the valley of the shadow of death and now coming to Bethlehem. But what were the Bethlehem sheep used for? The Bethlehem sheep, identified with the Lamb of God, they would be sacrificed. But that's not the case here. You see, we are not lambs led to the slaughter. Jesus already died for us. We don't have to die for our sin. We couldn't do it if we, if we did. The fact of the matter is, he died for us. Instead, we dwell in the house of the Lord. Now, the word house is bet, is the word commonly used for, for house. And Lord is that Yahed Vahed. It is the name for God. It's Jehovah, as some would translate it. It is the name for the Lord, that name which is not spoken. It's his personal name. It's the house of the Lord. Well, seeing that, we see that Jesus spoke about that. He said on the night in which he was betrayed, and the night before his death, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. I go to prepare a place for you. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. When he talks about, I go to prepare a place for you, that place is in my Father's house, and there are many mansions. You see, this place that we find here in Psalm 23 is exactly the same place that Jesus talks about in John 14. And it is a place that he has been preparing for us? Think, if the Lord created the heavens and the earth in six days, what is that place going to look like that he has been preparing for you as his lamb? You who have identified with the Savior, you who have acknowledged him as Lord, what that's going to look like after 2,000 years. Yes, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There is no end. I'll never need to be healed. I'll never need to be restored. I will never sin again. That is when I'm with the Lord forever. What a way to end the psalm. 
what a blessing it is to you. I pray you know the Savior. I pray you know the Shepherd. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you and we praise you so much for your goodness and your grace. We thank you for your love for us and for your sheep. And we pray that everyone that's listening truly knows Jesus as Savior and Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen.